and I, the Wrestle Vessel, would just like to give a little plug to some of my merchandise for sale. We got wrestling videotapes, wrestling DVDs, both ones on clearance. We got autographed cards, autographed 8x10s, rare 1989 and 1990 8x10s released by the WWF. We got some classic books. Um, both wrestling, sports, and other kind of books. We got a Spin Fighter set of Razor Ramon and Bam Bam Bigelow, and much more. So please contact me, Mr. Wrestling Tape One, on YouTube, aka the Wrestle Vessel, and watch more great videos of the Wrestle Vessel and the Aftershock right here on YouTube. Welcome to One Minute. What the hell? So here we are playing Riptide Two GP Two, that is, on uh, Steam on the PC. Uh, bought this recently on Steam, and the game turned out to be surprisingly pretty good. Let's check it out. This is your main menu right here. You do have an option menu. Uh, one thing that's really confusing is if you go into the option menu, to your settings and your graphics, uh, where the resolution is right there, you can't even tell what resolution the game's at. For whatever reason, I'm not sure why, but pretty, pretty weird. So if we go to my careers are, there's actually several different tracks you can race at, several different areas. The game itself has very, very fast loading screens and the graphics look pretty decent. They're not really, really like, you know, 2015 graphics, I would say. More like something that was from like 2011, 2012. But nonetheless, the game itself, as you can see here, looks really good in my opinion. Uh, the game does have a solid 60 frame per second, which is very, very important for a racing game. And you got the really, really nice water effects right there. And this game does not hold your hand at all. You have to really try to get ahead of these uh, enemies that you're racing against. And they're not always easy, so you have to make sure you upgrade your uh, vehicle in order to... Uh, get ahead of them, because if you have your vehicle the same settings as they were when you first played the game, you're not going to get ahead of nobody. This kind of resembles that old Jet Moto game on the uh, PlayStation. And you do have Turbo in this game as well, so if you hit Turbo, you next we try to get ahead of everybody. Now we're in second place. I'm not sure how much this game is currently on uh, Steam, but I think I got it on sale, if I'm not mistaken. Now, I am using an Xbox 360 controller, so that makes the game even more funner. You can see there I came in second place. A little difficult to come in first place on, on this game on certain tracks. So you see up there where it says Stingray on the top uh, left. You have to click on there and you have to do some upgrading on your uh, jet ski. And you can play this online also, but since this game is like not very popular on the PC, it seems like there's very, very little people playing it online at the moment. I actually tried to go online and there's like nobody there at all. You can do some pretty cool stunts in the game as well. Backflip. Now doing the stunt stunning you have to do is pretty much move your joystick up and down or left and right, whatever the case may be. Did a double backflip. Now, as you can see in the top left, the uh, people in the crowd, they kind of look ugly. They really, you don't even notice that when you're racing, but when you're at a dead still, you notice some slightly ugly graphics here and there, but it doesn't really matter too much because the game is really fun. I'll say that overall, this game right here. If you're looking to play something original, something completely different than what you would usually get on the PC, uh, feel like having a really awesome arcade experience, this game right here would probably be something you want to check out. This game is pretty awesome. Uh, the graphics themselves, very, very nice. When it's in motion, of course. Uh, if it's at a dead still, you might notice some things here and there. They're not so pretty. Uh, Sound effects are as expected. It's an arcade style racing game. Uh, if you have a 360 controller, perfect. <laughs>